is a Sunday morning and I decided I wanted to film a get ready with me for church so um, I'm very very sleepy and my husband is in the shower so if you hear background noise that's what that is so um, come on get ready with me for church Okay guys, so I decided, as always, very spontaneously, that I really want to go to Barnes and Noble. So you guys are going to come with me. day I'm sorry we got so busy yesterday after I got home but I didn't end up getting books from Barnes and Noble because well technically I did I ordered them I didn't end up leaving with any books because um, the two books that I went there for specifically both said that they were out of stock well they said that they were in stock which is why I went and then when I checked with the worker they said that they had a couple of them and when she checked apparently they didn't have any so I ended up ordering them. So I'll just pop up a picture over here of both of them and I'll just tell you what I got. I ended up ordering um, The Fragile Threads of Power by by B.E. Schwab. Um, both of the books that I got are the Barnes & Noble exclusive editions. Um, the Fragile Threads of Power is one that I've been really wanting to read because I have one of my favorite books that I've ever read is um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is by V.E. Schwab. She's such a good author and that book is so good. And so I've really been wanting to read uh, The Fragile Threads of Power uh, since it came out. I just haven't had it yet, so I ordered that. And then the other one I got was One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. Um, this is another one that I've been really wanting to read. I liked The Atlas Six a lot, which is also by that author. Um, and I've heard really great things about One for My Enemy, so I ordered that one as well in the Barnes Noble exclusive. 
Then also, um, I've been really wanting to take a couple books and do like my own painted edges. I have done this before um, on a couple hardcover books. And so I think I'm going to do that today and then I'm going to show you guys my process of how I do that. So I have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I, I'm just going to do black on all three um, edges powerless and then I really want to do both of these. The interesting part about this video is I have never done a paperback before so we are going to see how this comes out. I hope I don't ruin this but um I don't think I will. I've done this on hardcovers like many times so yeah so I'm going to take you guys along while I paint the edges of these. Okay so here are my supplies that I use. Um, I just use, this is like, um, table mats that are still in the wrapping because I haven't used them. Um, and I just use this so that I don't get paint on my table because it has like a plastic wrap on it. Um, and I just, I end up getting paint on here as you can see, so it protects my table from getting paint on it. Then you will need like this this scotch tape because it will it's not sticky enough to like ruin the book when you're putting it on the book but it will protect your actual hardcover like your um, front and back of the book from getting damaged or paint on it and then I just buy any old acrylic paint this was just the one that I got um, because it was a bigger bottle I like to have a lot of black because uh, it's my favorite one on books, but you can do any color. And then I use these um, foam brushes. These ones just seem to work best for me for spreading evenly. Okay, then you're going to start by taping around all of the edges of the book. So I just start by putting a piece of this tape on one side, and then I rip it and I fold it over so that both sides of the page are covered. And then you do that all the way around the entire book. Okay, so your book will end up looking something like this. You wanna make sure that you've got everything covered that you don't wanna get paint on, on all sides. Then for this part, you will need something very heavy to really squish down the top of the book. I use my flower canister because this is very heavy and it really put presses down on this book. Um, you can buy those big clips from like Home Depot or Lowe's, the big, um, they have like these really big uh, sturdy clips that you can buy. I just don't have any um, and I don't feel like you have to have those to be able to do this so I just, I, put, I pick something really heavy and put it down on here so that it really pushes down on these pages so that you can get um, a good even coat of paint on here. All right, guys, then from here it is time to start painting. So I'm just going to show you. I like dab off some of the paint just so that I have kind of an even layer of paint. And then... You want to try to spread it out evenly, as evenly as possible, and then you just fill it in to your liking on your level of, of darkness on the book. Okay, so I have all my sides painted, and you just want to make sure that you let the paint dry 100% before you um, take the um, whatever you have holding it down off and before you take your paint or your um, tape off of the book. Okay, so all three books are painted and dry. So it is time. That one, it looks crazy, but it's just because it's dried. And so now what happens is all of the pages are stuck together like it's one big brick of pages they're all stuck together and we have to go through one by one and unstick each page individually which is the most tedious part of this whole process but honestly 
if you like sit down with like an audiobook or something and you just start like peeling each page it's it's a little bit therapeutic so um Yes, I'm very excited to see how all of these turn out, and I gotta go on still call these pages. Okay, guys, we are back in here because I finished uh, painting all of the edges of these books, and then for Light Lark, I did take off the blue tape and I um, unstuck all of the pages for this one, so I just have two more books to go to take the tape off and unstick the pages. But here's how it's looking so far. I mean, I feel like it looks so good. Like, I don't know. I feel like that looks really good for done at home. The only issue that I ever end up having with doing this at home is that the first page by the edge of the book will often have like a little bit of paint on it. Just usually just the first page, um, which doesn't bother me too bad. It might bother other people. Like see how this, this last page has just a little bit of paint. Um, none of these ones did on the front. So we're good on the front side. It's just the back that had an issue. Um, but other than that, I feel like it ended up looking so, so good. Like I really, really like how that turned out. So I'm going to unstick these other two books and then I'm going to show you how they both turned out. Okay guys, well, here's the finished product. We have Powerless. Look at this. This is how it turned out. I've read this book, so like the pages are, if you see like little white spots, it's not the paint missing. It's just the pages are like, I was, you know, I had kind of bent it, so they're a little bent. But um, I feel like it turned out very good. I really like it. I like it a lot. This is how Powerless turned out. Then we have these two books. We have the paperback of Light Lark. This was the first time I've ever done a paperback one. And I honestly loved doing it. Like I'm definitely gonna continue to um, do this to paperbacks. Well, really all books, but. Um, and then here's Night Bane. I really, really love how they all turned out. I'm very, very happy with them. Um, like I said, the only issue I've ever had is that sometimes like the first, the first page from the edge of the book will have a tiny bit of black paint along the edge. Um, but that doesn't bother me personally, but if it does bother you, then, um, I just wouldn't suggest doing this yourself at home, but if it doesn't bother you to have like this tiny little edge of black paint, then, um, I would say this is like a really fun, cheap, and easy way to kind of personalize your books the way that you want them. Um, I do eventually want to go get a couple more colors and do another video where I pick like some different books and do colored um, pages instead of just black. So uh, if you guys are interested in a video like that, then comment down below and let me know if you want to see that video soon. Um, but yeah, I feel like these, I'm very, very happy with the way that these turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.